Hey guys, this is your girl Nadja. Welcome back to my channel. Really quickly, before I get into it, which this is going to be a really short video, just a cute, fun one today. Um, if you have not already, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button and hit the bell so you know whenever I post a video if you're new to this channel. Um, so I have some content coming towards you guys. Like, I'm just basically in a little bit of a discovery phase, and I have to admit that Trump's indictment is just like taking up so much of my headspace right now, but I'm coming back to some stuff with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, I've been looking into a lot of stuff and doing some research and things like that. So, but I just wanted to share you with this this playlist and um, you know what? Um, I just wanted to make a little comment real quick because I posted the video asking you guys, should Megan forgive her sister Samantha? A lot of people like me came from the place of saying that Megan should do the, the Christ-like thing and forgive, but keep her sister at a distance, which is what I believe. Like, I, I, I don't know if I clarified this in that video as well as I could have, but I have no, I have no a desire for Megan to be, you know, walking hand in hand with Samantha in the mall or, you know, them painting each other's toenails or stuff. That's clearly really not in the cards, but I do think that holding on the hate, anger, and stuff like that, uh, it causes all types of physical problems in the body, mental problems, and I think that holding on to hate is really what has made those people who have oppressed Megan the way that they are, you know, the senior royals who have uh, vilified her and demonized her, the, the far right sort of supporters who have demonized her, and Samantha Markle herself, Thomas Markle himself, and, you know, her dad, who I think he's just really kind of clueless in all this, but he's also kind of played a part in that. Um, I don't know if her dad is much as much as just kind of clueless, if he's as much hateful as he is just kind of clueless. But um, my, my point is basically is that holding on to hate, you know, that would make Megan no different than these people. And the reason that we love her is because she is so authentic and she is genuine. And reading you guys' comments, made me crack up laughing but it also made me a little bit concerned and um i just want to tell you guys like if, if nobody's told you today i love you like someone out there loves you someone out there cares for you and um you know don't don't let hate you know don't don't let don't let negativity bring you down you know and and don't even allow yourself one minute to let what these people are doing to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry bring you down to their level because two wrongs don't make a right and we're better than them. <laughs> There's no better way to say that. We're better than them. We don't have to belittle, you know, belittle ourselves to that same type of hatred towards them. Now, continue to be truth sayers, to continue to speak up to what's right, continue to speak up to what is, um, you know, judicial and, and just, but um, don't live with negativity. Like, don't even do it. You don't need it. You don't, like, these people, don't let them, don't let them, um, don't let them do it to you. They don't even deserve the energy that it takes to get mad about them. So, Megan is going to be okay. Our girl is going to be okay. You can tell just because that is who she is. She is beautiful and radiant at heart. So don't you care one bit. If anything, Samantha needs pity. You know, she needs pity, not anger. She needs help. She needs help. So um, I really think that that's probably where Prince Harry and, and Meghan are coming from. You know, even just looking at Prince Harry, him dying dying to rebuild that relationship with his brother William even after William has been so toxic guys family I mean family when it comes to family it's complicated it's complicated you know blood it's your blood you know and even if it wasn't your blood um Jesus calls on us to love our enemies and um you can love your enemy from afar <laughs> so I I I've been listening to um I literally just started like a playlist, you know how you'll do the smart playlist based off of You Love to Fail by the Magnetic Fields, which is like the Magnetic Fields is like an indie band from the 90s. That song was released in 91, like literally the year I was born, but I love the Magnetic Fields and um yeah, I was listening to Stone Roses. Oh my god, just thinking about this Trump stuff. 
how this man is finally going to face retribution. And I was listening to um, Bye Bye Bad Man by the, mag by, um, not the Magnetic Fields, but um, the Stone Roses. But anyway, Trump out of this. I'm going to talk about Trump in another video, but this is about Diana. Really quickly, it's just like I... I was listening to this playlist and it just had everything. It had like the 80s, the 90s, the pop music. And I just remember from the documentary, the Harry and Meghan documentary, Harry talking about like, oh, I remember my mom's crazy music and stuff. And I was listening to some of this stuff, which is really just like the kind of music that I love. Like I, I shift through phases. Sometimes I'm in an indie phase, sometimes I'm in a hip hop phase. Sometimes I'm in a reggae phase, you know, I just basically go whatever way the wind blows me, you know, um, I'm a music lover. So, um, I was listening to, um, I was listening to the magnetic fields and the playlist just sort of generated itself. And I was looking at some of the stuff. I mean, it was French music in there. It was, you know, 80s music. And I was like, dude, this looks like the type of playlist that Diana would just love. And I just was like, while I was working this morning, I was just kind of dancing and moving around on my desk, chair and stuff. But anyway, I just thought you guys would like that. And um, if you want to listen to a groovy playlist, you can, you can listen to some of these songs here. But I hope that you guys are having a great day. Um... And that was just a really quick thing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I'm gathering some researches and things for a few different Harry and Meghan contents, but you guys know me. I don't want to just be flying off talking about everything and other at the same at the same point. So I, I want to do a correct sort of discovery to get back to you, but it's coming. Um, in the meantime, I'm sending you guys all my love. I hope you guys are having a good week and uh, that you're taking your taking it easy. You know. Um, Keeping a positive attitude, eating well, you know, moving your body around, maybe going to the gym, whatever it might be. And, um, yeah, I'm sending my love. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Bye, bye.